सो स्टूडेंट्स एज वी टॉक अबाउट एनिकडॉट सो वट इज़ एन एनिकडॉट एन एनिकडॉट इज अ शॉर्ट एंड एम्यूजिंग और इंटरेस्टिंग स्टोरी अबाउट अ रियल इंसिडेंट और अ पर्सन ओके एंड यू प्रोबेबली यूज एनिकडोट्स एवरी सिंगल डे वेन यू आर टॉकिंग टू योर फ्रेंड्स और फैमिली ओके एंड इंटीग्रेटिंग एनिकडोट्स इन टू योर राइटिंग हेल्प्स टू इंगेज द रीडर सो बेसिकली इट इज डिवाइस यू कैन से ओके विच वी नॉर्मली यूज इन आर डेली लाइफ वर्ड्स ओके द सेकेंड एक्सप्रेशन विच इज गिवन टू आस इज डेलीकेट रियलिज्म नाउ डेलीकेट रियलिज्म रेफर्स टू द एल्यूरिंग क्वालिटी of the art which makes uh, it seem real okay so it is an interest in or concern for the actual or real as opposed to abstract okay next is figurative art which describes any form of modern art that retains strong references to the real world and particularly to the human figure next is outsider art so it is an art by self taught or naive art makers typically those labeled as outsider artists have little or no con- contact with the mainstream art world or art institutions in many cases their work is discovered only after their death okay an art brut is literally translated from french means raw art okay and draw in that uh, it has not been through the cooking process the word of art schools galleries and museums okay next is illusionistic likeness so students it simply refers to an adjective of the technique of using pictorial methods in order to deceive the eye okay the references is to an illusion created by the semblance of something that means whenever an artist is trying to deceive the viewer through the pictures or pictorial methods okay so this is illusionistic likeness and the next is empty space so in a landscape painting empty space often indicates cloud mist fog okay and in chinese landscape paintings uh, okay or any art form painters always embed their personal feelings and emotions into the image rather than just depict the details and exact appearance of the object as a result viewers can see a lot of white spaces and broad strokes on chinese landscape so this was all about the given expressions in your book that was anecdote delicate realism figurative painting illusionistic likeness conceptual space which is often known as empty space okay next was outsider art and art brute i hope you have understood it now students we will move towards with a main or detailed explanation now students we are going through the detailed explanation of the text so here it is a wonderful old tale is told about the painter wu daozi who lived in the 8th century his last painting was a landscape commissioned by the tang emperor shen zong to decorate a palace wall the master had hidden his work behind a screen so only the emperor would see it for a long while the emperor admired the wonderful scene discovering forest high mountains waterfalls clouds floating in an immense sky men on hilly path birds in flight look sir said the painter in this cave at the foot of the mountain dwells a spirit the painter clapped his hands and the entrance uh, entrance to the cave opened the sight is splendid beyond anything words can convey please let me show your majesty the way the painter entered the cave but the entrance closed behind him and before the astonished emperor could move or utter a word the painting had vanished from the wall not a trace of wu daoji's brush was left and the artist was never seen again in this world so students according to the story 
a painter named Wu Daozi, who lived in the 8th century in China, was assigned to decorate a palace wall by Tang Emperor Shenzong. It was his last painting. The painter hid his work behind a screen, so only emperor would see it. And the emperor, upon looking at the painting, admired many things into that painting like discovering forests, high mountains, flowing waterfalls, floating clouds in the sky, okay, and men on hilly path and birds in flight. So, the painter then made him look at the cave in the painting which was at the foot of the mountain and compared it with a living spirit, okay. As the painter clapped his hands, the entrance of the cave opened and he let the emperor know how beautiful the inside of the cave was and he asked him to show all this to him. So the painter entered the cave but the entrance closed behind him. The emperor could not enter the cave. As the emperor was greatly surprised, the painting vanished from the wall. That means disappeared. Okay, And after that, the painter was never seen again in the world. Such stories played an important part in China's classical education. The books of Confucius and Xiangzi are full of them. They helped the master to guide his disciple in the right direction.